Hey there guys, Area Master here. I'm gonna refer to myself as Alex because it's my name. I'm gonna refer to my name in this video so it's easier so I'm gonna keep saying Area Master. I said twice now in a couple seconds. <sighs> so Wrestling Origins. <clears throat> I already messed up the title. Wrestling Origins. <laughs> I'm not gonna edit that out. I'm gonna leave that in. I'm gonna leave that in. Okay, um, so, guess where to start? I guess I'll just start in the beginning. Um, way, way back when I was only nine years old, literally nine years old, I started wrestling a little bit. Um, it wasn't really the stuff I'm doing now with the flips and jumps and all that. Um, it was more of amateur wrestling with a little bit of punching and kicking with my friends Trevor and Hector up in Norwich. <sighs> After about a year of doing that, 2009, my friend Bart, uh, he was a lot older. It's not really friend, more of like a acquaintance through my friend Trevor's dad. <laughs> um, he's like, hey, He's only like 23, so it wasn't it wasn't weird. Um, hey, I know you're pretty young, but you want to come wrestle for me? I got people all your age, and it was it was all my age. I was wrestling my age group, and yeah, I started off as a tag team with my friend Chris Sapensky. That was pretty cool. It really, really was pretty cool. Um, I'm gonna try to get him down here sometime. Uh, just to have him on the show, maybe. Um, we didn't really have a fancy name, it was just our two names together, Newman Sapensky. Um, you may be like, Newman, what the hell is that? Uh, my original wrestling name was Alex Newman. Uh, Newman, a spinoff of my last name, of Newell. Yes, my last name is Newell. Um, I think it's actually the first time I've ever said that for you guys. It, my last name. I don't think I've ever told you guys. But yeah, my last name is Newell. And that Newman was just kind of a spin-off of my last name. Um, then when I went solo, I changed it to Richie Newman. Uh, Richie, kind of a spin-off of my middle name, including a spin-off of my, gr my, two, grand my uh, two grandfathers, which is what the really combination was the twist off I didn't really think about my middle name until somebody pointed that out to me and my family they're both named Richard so I said they're big role models in my life I'll use their their name and that's where it came up never really stuck with the fans or the you know, like 12 13 people that watched us never really stuck with them and it never really stuck with me either so eventually I just went back to what I originally used, Alex Newman. Uh, oh, sorry. <clears throat> About 2010 ish, um, about November of 2010, uh, Bart was like, you know, you've been here for about a year and a half wrestling, so I'm going to give you a singles title and I'm going to make it the Champion of Champions title for you. It's a brand new title, nobody else had ever held it. He's like, we're going to make a tournament <clears throat> and it's going to be the 15 people on my roster, and there's gonna be a triple threat in the middle somewhere. It's like the last three people, probably. And then the winner of the winner's bracket and the winner of the loser's bracket will come together and face for the title. I had no idea what it looked like, obviously, um, until the last match when he unveiled it. He only told, he told the people in the tournament the name of it, didn't show us. And then to the fans, they never said what it was what the title of it, what, what the name of the title was, or showed them what it looked like. <clears throat> um, yeah, he just kind of kept it a secret. Um, at the end of the tournament, it was pretty cool, you know, winning my first ever singles title at 10 years old. 10. 10. 10 years old. Um, yeah, I held it until we moved down here in June 2011. I held it till mid-April-ish, and then when we really knew that we were definitely moving, um, I flat out said to Bart, you know, 
we're moving next month. Um, we're about to start packing, so I need to turn this title over for you. And he said, all right, you can drop it to your old tag team partner, Chris. Um, we had, the way we, we split up was kind of like a cool, not cool kind of thing. You know, we weren't really like arch enemies. We didn't feud or anything. Um, so it was weird, you know, facing an old tag team partner. Um, but it wasn't bad. It was about a ten minute match. And then I came down here. Um, started my sixth grade year. Um, the first maybe quarter of it, up until December of 2011, my sixth grade year, I went to a middle school called Cruise Lake. And then I transferred over to a different middle school called Hudson, <clears throat> where I met Shivers, or Brendan, I met Badass, Brandon, I met Jaster, Jacob, <clears throat> and Money Mike, Michael. I had not met Darian, Fallen Angel, Darian, yet, until high school. Um, and Justin, Justin Terry, I met him. Because he was one of the original <clears throat> startups. He was never really on camera, I think maybe once, but he did start it with Jacob and Michael. Um, yeah, that's where I met them. And all of sixth grade, Jacob kept being like, yo, man, you know, we're, me, me and a couple guys, we're doing this wrestling thing of, of, you know, with some friends, you know, you should come join us. You know, you wrestle up in Norwich. And I was like, eh, I don't know. I'm, I'm giving up on that life, kind of. I'm not really doing that anymore. And he just kept persistently asking and asking and asking. Um, then seventh grade came along and he asked more and more and more. And just to kind of get him off my back, I said okay. And I had my debut match. And I was like, holy, I love this. And in my debut match, I actually won the hard, yeah, the hardcore title in my first ever match. And then later that day, I wrestled again and won the World Heavyweight Championship. Um, that was the first ever time that somebody had held the hardcore title and the World Heavyweight title in ECWB at the same time. So that's kind of a big thing. On my first day, I had set that record. Um, I, as you guys know, if you follow along a lot, have followed along a lot, I was the person who retired the World Heavyweight title from ECWE. Um, obviously the hardcore title is still around today. Um, yeah, I started there, went on for about maybe a year, and then some issues came up with Jacob and his living arrangements, which he can talk about in his video, I'll let him know. Just, hey, bring it up, let him know what happened, why we were off for about two years. Um, his living arrangements, he was living down in St. Petersburg in Florida. Um, it was a rough time for not only him, but his family, and especially him. And ECWE kind of grinded to a halt. We just kind of like, we're going, 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 and then BAM! We halted. Um, we tried to keep it going. Me and, me and Shivers, we tried our best. And we got badass and we're like, we gotta keep doing this, we gotta keep doing this. And it stopped. We weren't able to do it. We had nowhere to do it. Um, and we honestly thought that was going to be the end of ECWE. We thought, this is it. There's no more. We can't do it anymore. The three of us can't do it. Money Mike won't come without Jacob being there. Jacob can't because he's two hours away. <clears throat> Justin, he won't do it anymore. What are we going to do? We honestly thought that was it. That was the end. And me and Shivers started going off and thinking of different things we could do to raise money to then try to get some sort of a ring to start up a new one, a new uh, program. And then Jacob came back. He finally came back <clears throat> where he's living right now. And we were so happy. So happy. Because it was 8th grade and ninth grade that he was gone. 
And 10th grade. Yeah. 8th grade he was gone. 8th, no. <clears throat> he left after 8th grade. After 8th grade he left. So we were kind of without him. And then 9th grade and 10th grade he was gone. And then this year, our junior year, <clears throat> he came back. And we were so happy. We were, so, we were like, yes, pumped up. Yes, let's do this. And then we were finally able to start again. And it was great. We came back, bam. When it came to this, it just kept pushing and pushing and pushing and pushing when we didn't realize it. And then broke through, broke through that wall and kept going. And we were so happy when he came back. Um, and then we started up again. And our first time being on camera again since he went away was Hardcore Christmas. And it was great, you know, being back out there on camera. We'd done about two live shows, I believe. Before then, we like called up our old venues and were like, Please, I know it's been two years, but come on, 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 come on. And then they, one of them, the flea market, airport and farmers flea market, <clears throat> they finally were like, okay, fine, you can, you can come down for two shows, and we'll see how it goes. And they're like, wow, you guys, for being away two years, you guys did improve a lot. And that's been our main spot, them and Odessa flea market. We were going to try uh, the USA flea market, but fortunately, as if you don't know, they were closed down. Because it's some issues, I don't know what, what went on, I don't really care. <clears throat> but then we came back in gear. Since then, I have lost the hardcore title. I have gained the hardcore title. I have lost the hardcore title. Gained it again, and now I've lost it again. And I've also introduced the Champion of Champions title, which I am currently, for now, the longest reigning Champion of Champion right now, with five months. Yeah, five months. Demon is close. He has one month under his belt. No, I had it four months. He's had it a month. Okay, the math didn't add up. <clears throat> But, uh, yeah, he's getting there. I'm hoping to get it back here soon. So what's next for Aerial Master? What's next? I don't know. I am going to try to get the ECWE Championship. If I don't, I don't know. If I do, I will re-sign with the company for sure. But... As ECW goes on, and our lives persist, and we graduate, <clears throat> and we have to make a choice of what we're going to do with our lives, I don't know. I have been thinking about going to WWN Academy and working where my mom currently works right now at Harbor Freight while she works on her nursing degree stuff. <clears throat> I'm thinking about trying to work there when I turn 18. Work there, save up some money, pay some, pay my car insurance as I need to, and go to WWN Academy and get trained and try to go to ACW. But that's one path. I still do not know. For sure this isn't the end of Area Master Alex Newman, Richie Newman. It's just a matter of not knowing what I want to do. I do want to continue wrestling for sure. No doubt about it. But it's the money issue and transportation issue. If I can resolve those, I will for sure continue wrestling for you guys. The only hard part is medical. My ribs, back, and knee are messed up, to say the least. That is why you've seen me out of action for quite a while, is because with my ribs and my back. And that has come from, stemmed from what I do in ECWE. <clears throat> my knee has been persistent for years. Not even had to do with ECWE. Um, if you guys never seen my knee, here you go. I'll show you guys my knee really quick. 
That is a giant scar, if you can see it. That is a giant scar, right? Come on. Right. Come on, camera. Right there. All across here. <clears throat> that is from a previous injury. Not related to this wrestling. But my back and ribs have come from wrestling. And that has really limited me. Um, as a performer. Um, so I'm hoping to get those worked out. <sighs> Next. I remember. People on social media have asked me about this. The origins of this. And the CM. And CH. That I put on my chest and my face paint sometimes on my forehead. <sighs> to tackle the first one, this. My great-grandfather, Grandpa Beetle, he was a great man. I unfortunately never had the pleasure of meeting him because he died before I was born. Um, but everything that I heard about him <clears throat> was amazing. My great-grandmother, she told me so many stories about him all the time, and she loved him. He really was the love of her life. And since he had been a veteran, they had the 21-gun salute. And my grandmother, my great-grandmother, Cora Moore, Cora Harris, she was remarried afterwards, many years later. Um, but that's... We don't need to talk about that. That was... weird story but she picked this up and she kept it for many many years and about two years ago she walked up to me and she said she walked up she didn't have the necklace in it obviously and it wasn't the holes in the side I put those in so I could put it on necklace she said Alex I want you to have this and I said what is it and she said that it was from grandpa Beatles funeral and she talked to me about it for about two hours we sat on the kitchen table and talked for about two hours and um, I just kept it you know it, it was on my desk for a while just sat on my desk for a while and then eventually I said you know what I'm gonna make that into a necklace and I went downstairs the next day put the holes in it and strung it up on a necklace that was last year um, Unfortunately, also last year, my great-grandmother passed away in October. That was the hardest thing in my life because she was the closest woman to me in my life. She was a great role model. And the reason that I continued wrestling despite my issues, she told me to just keep going. I showed her a video of me wrestling. And she said that she can tell I have, I have passion and talent for it. And she told me she wanted me to keep going no matter what. And that's the main reason I want to keep going. <clears throat> now, if you can't really figure out yet what the CM and the CH mean on my chest, the CM I started writing at first because that meant Cora Moore. Um, and this is literally my first time ever saying it. Not even Jacob, who, Jaster, and Shivers, aka Brendan, both who were like brothers to me, like my second and third brother, I have never told them. Um, I have Jacob help me put it on, and he's just like, hey, what does this mean? What is that for? What is, what is that? I just tell him, I can't tell you. I'll tell you eventually. I'll tell you eventually. I never told him. This is my first time ever telling anybody what that means. I've even had little five-year-old people, fans, kids, ask me at autograph signings and live shows, what does that mean? What does that mean? I've had people figure it out. Or not really figure it out, but try to figure it out. And I never say anything. So this is my first time saying it. Cora Moore. Um, and then I thought, you know... She, if she could have changed her name back, she would have changed her back, name back. So then I went with her original, original name, Cora Harris. That was her original last name when she was born. Her maiden name, her birth name, 
all that was Corhairs. That is why I put the CH. Eventually, I'll put this. I, I might put CB. I don't know, but I might continue with CH. <clears throat> um, but yeah, that's what the CM and the CH mean. So I guess that's about it. Um, well, I had a friend ask me what, how I come up with face paints. Um, I don't know. I, I, I don't know. Sometimes I'll sit there at a mirror, stand there at a mirror, and I'll just be like, blue paint. Da 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 da. Okay. Red paint. I just do it as I do it. I don't really plan it out. I just kind of go. Go with the paintbrush and the paint. Even though my painting and artistic ability and drawing and such wise is horrible. Horrid, horrid, horrid. Um, some of them I do get inspired by the things like um, my most recent one that I did for a live show, which I'm going to use a couple more times because people said they really liked it, was based on an army of two masks that was all yellow, and then right here on my eyes, on both of them, it was black in here, and then up here it said, please stop me on the cheek. And a lot of people said that was really cool, even though it was so basic. Um, so I might use that again in the future. Um, yeah, you know, some of them I just kind of make up on the fly. I don't really put any thought into them sometimes. Um, tattoos? I am going to get tattoos. There is a shirt with a design I'm going to put on my back. Um, I'm going to get the family one that me, my brother, or not me yet, but my brother and my mom got. My brother has it right here, and my mom has it on her leg, I believe. I'm probably going to put it like right here, maybe, or somewhere where I can fit it on my back. Don't want to put too much, or I might put a smaller version on my arm. I'm not sure yet. Um, right here, I'm going to put the CH. I'm going to put the CH right here. Um, and I'm going to tattoo my face. No, I'm just kidding. I'm not going to tattoo my face. That would be horrid. Um, not sure if I'll do anything else. Um, my brother has some is doing the Batman enemies over here, and Batman himself. Right now, I believe he has Riddler and Joker and Batman and stuff like that. Um, definitely going to do some more to tribute to my grandmother. For sure. I'm going to try to. Whenever I can fit it. Okay, this has gone way out of wrestling origins. Um, I guess I'm just going to end it right here. I don't really know what else to really do, honestly. I don't know what else to do, talk about. So yeah, that was wrestling origins for me, Aerial Master or Alex Newell. Um, see you guys later. That was a very generic peace sign.